I just tried on five different fleece tights and I feel like I'm just turning into a giant fleece tight. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Karina and today we're actually going to be touching on closet essentials and must-haves for an actual cold fall slash early winter. I know a ton of you guys have already mentioned that it's already freezing, you know, winter temperatures for you guys. Today's video is gonna be full of valuable information. What you need in your closet to keep you actually warm for freezing temperatures. Please make sure to watch till the end of this video because I have so many great chef's kiss recommendations. So no matter what area of the world you're in, as long as you have a fall and winter, I have got you covered. You have negative a bajillion degrees, I've got you covered in this video. Okay, so so the very first fall slash winter essential that you need in your closet are base layers. I know this is not like a very sexy topic to start off, but these are really essential, really crucial at keeping you guys warm without adding the extra bulk. Especially for those of you who are into layering for the fall and winter time, these are going to be your BFFs. Because these base layers are designed to be sitting right on top of your skin, you want them to be extra smooth and silky and comfortable and breathable to be in. The last thing you want to do is have a base layer that is entirely scratchy. A lot of your fall and winter sweaters, like this one right here, this one is actually making me like itching to take it off. So you definitely need to have some kind of smooth layer underneath all your fall sweaters. Okay, so the first ones I want to talk about are these very, very viral heat tech base layers from Uniqlo. These are very well known around the world for having very, very great heat retention properties. So we have a black one right here I'm wearing in the size extra small. So for those of you who are sharp eyed eagles, you might have seen me style this in my very, very recent fall outfits lookbook. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check it out right here. Tons of great ideas to style your fall and winter looks into. The idea of this is that you can wear them underneath your fall and winter sweaters. Even form fitting sweaters like this one would totally work with this because this is designed to sit flush to your skin. And then I got the same one, but in a beige color in case I wanted to be layering on something a little bit light color, like a cream or a white color colored on top of here. As you guys can see, this is pretty see-through just on its own. I'm wearing a black bra under you and you can totally see the outlines of that even the color is peeking through a little bit. So just stick to your usual skin colored bra. But you know what? On the other hand, no one's really going to see you in this. It's not like you're going out in this. So I also do want to point out that they have different heat tech warmth levels. So I think this one is on a warm level and this one is on a very warm level. Okay, onto another black base layer. This one has a scoop neck for all of those who want to rock something a little bit lower cut during the colder months. And it also has a crop design in case the first one is too long for you and your sweater layer over this is also cropped. This is the one to go for. You guys, I don't know what magical material this one is made out of, but it is so stretchy. It is so soft, so smooth. I actually prefer this so much more over the first two heat tech ones. I'm just gonna look at their ingredients. Oh no, not ingredients. <laughs> their, um, let me call this composition. Okay. 24% Miyabi acrylic, 72% model, model, 4% spandex. I guess that is the magical concoction to making this so silky smooth. I definitely think you can just wear this on its own or you can throw something over this. Highly, highly recommend this. Okay, and then the last base layer I have is this gray mock neck layer. You guys might also have recognized this from my fall lookbooks where I wore this just as a top on its own. I do want to warn you though, this is very, very warm. This is so thermal. I think this is classified as a thermal top to the point where if you wear this as a base layer and you throw something on top of this, you're going to be burning in any indoor settings. It's also super, super stretchy and comes in this like brushed fabric that I don't know, it's so hard to, to explain. I wish you guys can like reach across your YouTube screen and just like feel this because it is a little bit furry, a little bit fuzzy, but overall very, very comfortable to be in. This is perfect for those of you who live in colder weathers and have to protect your neck, even on the base layer. And this would be really, really good if you are going to be layering on like, like a chunky turtleneck on top of this. Next up on the must have fall winter category, we have quality footwear. And I feel like this one is something that most people tend to neglect once in a while, but I cannot stress how important it is to find a good pair of shoes that you can actually walk in and doesn't hurt you, that's made 
from good materials that's gonna protect your feet from the elements. I want to give a huge thanks to Dream Hairs for sponsoring this video and I've personally ordered from Dream Hairs on Amazon before. By the way, they have great five-star reviews on Amazon. You have so many varieties of shoes ranging from summer, spring, fall, winter. And the ones I picked out this time are mainly for fall and winter. So we have a pair of brown chunky lace-up booties, a pair of snow boots that is a chestnut color and Come on, awesome, awesome Ugg dupes, you guys. And then for those of you who are living in igloo type weathers, I did not forget about you guys. I got an actual winter boot. When I saw that this pair of boots was rated negative 25 Fahrenheit, that is the equivalent of negative 30 Celsius, which on the extreme cold spectrum. Okay, so let's talk about these brown boots. I know combat boots are definitely a staple in any fall winter wardrobe. And I chose this chocolate brown pair because I have a couple of black ones myself and I just wanted to like spice things up a little bit. In case you think black is too boring for you, they also have this in a ton of other colors as well. I got these in size 7.5. They're extremely true to size. They have a lace part all the way at the top with these little vintage gold buttons on the side and a little sock detail at the back here. Tiny luxe sole detail at the bottom with a maybe one inch platform. And the heel is a super chunky heel, so you know it's gonna be very, very easy to walk in. I was a little bit scared of the heel despite being a pro heel swap. <laughs> Heels walker. <laughs> Sounds like something from Game of Thrones. But I wore these to get lunch the other day and it totally blew my mind at how comfy it is. I think it's the combination of the round toe plus the height in the platform making it very, very easy to walk in. And then when you open the interior, it has a little bit of um, padding going on on the sides here. So that makes it that much warmer to be in. It's not just like hard, cold plastic when you slip your foot in these. And the way I would style these is I would go for a jacket, maybe like a moto jacket to match the vibe of the combatness of these boots. Just make sure the color matches the two so it gives off a more cohesive look. And then next we have these new ones. I'm so, so happy I found these. These have my stamp of approval all over it. They're extremely warm. They look and feel like Ugg minis. And the inside is also lined with this faux fur trim that is so, so cozy. It's so soft, so comfy. Literally feels like a cloud hug for your feet. And I was in these the other day just going out for a walk. And no joke you guys, like my feet felt like they were on fire. Okay, these winter boots, they feel so sturdy. I got it because one of the reviews were saying how like she lives one of the coldest places on earth in Canada and it goes down to like negative bajillion for her. And she was so warm in these the entire winter. So that review completely sold me because it's not a negative bajillion out yet. I can't test these, but I can tell you that they feel very, very similar to my Sorrel boots that I have. They have a rounded toe at the front here that is reinforced and this part is completely water resistant. There's a mesh exterior here and you can lace it all the way up and then there's a fur trim at the top here and then when you're putting it on there's a zipper on the side that you open and it just opens up this area so it's not a full open. I find that this extra flap here allows you to put your foot in the shoe so much easier and faster than if it was a true zipper because you don't have to spend all the extra time tucking in the extra fabric of your pants. So naturally these snow boots are designed to be able to go with all of your outfits in the winter time because it's so neutral so you don't really have to worry about what to pair with it. Over here I'm just wearing two pairs of yoga pants for the extra warmth and please please do not forget warm socks you guys. These pair of socks are also very fall winter essential because they're made from wool. It's gonna make all the difference in terms of keeping your feet warm especially paired with snow boots like these. Keeping it relatively simple on top I'm just going with a black turtleneck and a puffer jacket. Okay so when winter comes I think I'm definitely gonna do more of these like wintery type outfits and I know I tend to do a lot of how to layer videos. Let me know if you would like a new one for this year. I have so many tips and tricks on how to stay warm without looking like a snowman, you guys. Highly, highly recommend you guys to check out Dream Pairs. Just go to dreampairs.com and use my coupon code Karina for these discounts right here. Next up, we have actual sweaters for fall and winter. This one might seem like a really duh moment. These ones, special sweaters. I promise you, these ones are 100% cashmere. Before you guys run and scream away, and hide your wallet. Let me just tell you that these are one of the more affordable pure cashmere sweaters I found. Not all sweaters are created equal and when you have a sweater that is made from a premium material, you know that you're going to be getting premium quality from that material.
material and with that quality comes a lot of warmth that other sweaters with filler materials cannot match these ones i have featured in a ton of video before and i think i've used these for about two to three years now every single winter and fall i go back to these because they're so basic they go with every single thing in your closet the best part is you are able to layer it under whatever base layer you have so you can just throw this cashmere sweater on boom you're done and because i love this sweater so much i also bought it in a white creamy color so for this one i highly suggest you guys to go with a skin colored base layer underneath this one very good investment also wore these in my fall outfits video which is a legit workout to begin with but when i was in this specific outfit i was sweating so so much in places that I don't want to say on camera. Okay guys, up next on the fall winter essentials list, I did not forget about your legs. And those of you who want to wear skirts and dresses, what do we have? Say it louder for the people in the back. We have here base layers or fleece tights for your leggies so your sexy leggies are protected from the elements, protected from the cold. Keep in mind that I have way more fleece tights than this. If you would like me to do a dedicated video on fleece tights, how to style them, where to get them, which pairs are my favorites, and which pairs to skip out on, please let me know in the comments down below so I know. Because girl, I have so much to say about fleece tights. First off, let me start off with something that is not fleece tights, but still a very very basic layer to have for your legs and these are exactly the same ones as the first sweater we have which is the heat tech sweater this one is just a heat tech legging wearing a size extra small and this is how it fits on me it's got 53% cotton so you know that it's very comfortable to be in but I wouldn't say it's the most stretchy kind of leggings like I feel like the Lululemon Align is definitely 10 times stretchier than this however these does have the heat tech technology to them so I definitely want to give them more of a try during the colder winter months coming up, put some jeans over or some cargo pants over and see how well they hold up and how warm they actually are. I'll probably give an update somewhere around winter in my IG or my IG stories. So make sure you follow me on there. Okay guys, next up we have the iconic original viral pair of tights that I have gotten I think about four or five years ago. These are the OG ones that I featured in I think over a hundred videos now. I can't even keep count you guys. It was that many. I'll definitely be linking all of these down below so make sure you check which ones the one that you're interested in the most the interior looks like this so you can see it's somewhat got a fluffy texture and it's lined all the way to the toe area which means you don't have to wear socks if you don't want to another thing i definitely suggest you guys to go with your skin color fleece tights are stratex ties these tights are pretty well known for being unbreakable undestructible but like don't go and like take like a chainsaw to them like they're gonna break okay don't use like a sharp pair of scissors and pull it super tight and try to cut them across they're gonna cut these are just meant for people who like to be a little bit rougher every day with their tights and they're not gonna break like my nails are super ratchet at the moment you can tell that I was pulling on these super hard over these fleece tights and you know with these there's a certain level of friction that's elevated and I don't have to worry about breaking my tights over these I think these two are the perfect combo for my skin color but in case you have a lighter or darker skin color I also have two more recommendations over here the interior of this one looks like this so it's got like a fuzzy texture as opposed to the other one this lighter one is definitely a lot tighter and sometimes I feel like when I'm in this it's so hard to eat anything in whereas this one definitely gives me a bit more room to move about okay I know there's more skin colors other than these but these are just what I can find given my current resources and this pair is one of the darker ones that I found and I actually love wearing this just on its own this is more of like a tan olive color and I believe this would fit so so well for those of you with the olive undertone in your skin but you do have to size up because this one was pretty tight even for me and I got my usual size you can totally wear this on its own but I just wanted to see how it will look if I were to throw this over it so here's a comparison of one leg with the tights and one leg without the tights just so you guys get a rough idea of how it looks like when you throw something over I know tons of you guys have mentioned before that there are places that sell both skin tone fleece tights and a translucent tight over it as one pair. You guys may or may not have seen certain ads floating around that have featured my YouTube content or my IG content. I am not affiliated with any of those. All the fleece tights I've discovered, I purchased with my own money and I am not paid by any of these companies. They're just out there using my content without my permission. And I have no idea how to report them. So if you do see something like that floating around on the internet, please report them for me for either impersonating me 
for using copyrighted content without my permission. I would love you guys to the moon and back for that. Speaking of those two-in-one tights, I did try out the couple and this is just one that I got in conjunction with the other tights and this one just comes as one piece. If you open it, the inside is kind of like a skin tone fleece tights. It does save you some time throwing it on in the mornings but I do not recommend this for three reasons. Number one, you're not able to switch up the outer look of your sheer tights. So let's say you want something a little bit more sheer today or if you want something a little bit darker or if you want like a pattern tights, you're not able to do that. Second, if the outer layer of the one piece just snags or breaks for some reason, you'll have to replace the entire thing as opposed to just replacing like one, like the outer layer and keep the fleece tights portion. And three, there's a specific way those two-in-one tights sit on your legs that when you're walking, it creates kind of like a crease around your joints and the area that's moving around a lot. And it's generally not as natural looking as if you were to piece together fleece tights that match your skin tone and a pair of sheer tights over it of your choosing. Anyway, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about this. So let me know if you want to see a dedicated fleece tights video. Next up on the fall essentials list, we have some straight cut jeans. So the first one we have a goldie jeans. A goldie jeans has got to be hands down one of my favorite jeans because they are always exceptional quality. And Apart from the sizing issue, which I do find most of them run a little bit on the bigger side, they're extremely comfortable to be in and you can be in one pair for years and years and they're not gonna break down. Relatively mid-rise for me because I went with a size 23, which is one size smaller than I usually get. You can go up one or two sizes from your usual size if you are looking for that more baggy sloucher kind of jean. Another Goldie jean, this one is the crisscross version. I find this one a lot more higher waisted than the previous ones. I also got it in a size 23. It has a little bit more room in the leg area especially great for those of you who want to add a base layer beneath this also this design is pretty cute and then last one we have my absolute favorite and f jean i cannot get enough of this pair of jeans. i don't know what it is about this jean but i find myself reaching for it every single time i want something classic and casual but yet trendy at the same time it's called a 90s baggy jean but if you go for your usual size it's not gonna be that baggy on you. So if you want it to be extra baggy, go up a size or two. I freaking love this pair of jeans so much. It goes spring, summer, fall, winter. The one thing I absolutely detest detest on all three jeans is the fact that none of them have zipper closures like why in the world would you go for something like this all button closures is it just me or do you guys hate button closures too i feel like sometimes i'm just not meant for button closures like i will be there trying to close a jean for like five minutes and that's just wasting my time as opposed to just like one second straight up zip why do jeans companies do that why 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 tell me why i'm asking in my most sincere backstreet boys voice if you're still watching at this point, I want to thank you because I know how long this video is starting to get. In this last chapter, oh, I feel like a prof. Today, we're going to learn about coats. The two essential type of coats that I would suggest to everyone, no matter where you are in the world for fall and winter, is number one, puffer coats. Number two, wool coats. This is my absolute favorite puffer coat at the moment. It is so soft. It's got a faux leather exterior. Not all faux leathers are made the same. And these ones absolutely feel like butter. There's a pocket closure at the front here. It's got a bomber style collar. Always managed to make me feel super chic in it no matter what my mood is. Definitely one of my power jackets. Oh, it says it is wind resistant, water resistant, vegan leather, and recycled fill. So you know that something like this would definitely withstand the elements as you go more towards the colder months. Plus it looks trendy AF. Okay, like just look at it. Come on. All right. Now for the final chapter in this video, I want to focus more on wool coats. Now, wool coats is something that I highly suggest all of you guys to invest in a good quality one because wool is super super insulating and extremely warm especially when you're pairing it with all of your heat tech base layers plus your cashmere mid layers if you add on a wool coat as your outer layer as it you're gonna stay toasty and warm throughout the entire day and this is something I feel like I really need to point out because a lot of brands and websites out there would claim their coat is a wool coat but in reality what happens is they have a wool blend coat which wool is one of the 
composition materials but then it may be like one percent wool where the other ingredients oh why do i keep saying ingredients i'm clearly hungry where the other materials listed might be like filler materials like polyester which is not that warm but might make a coat feel very sturdy a good example is this h&m wool coat so this feels really heavy it feels really warm and really well made until you look at the composition 90 percent polyester so true warmth quality of this coat is not as expected for something that is so heavy you just have a bunch of polyester filling and then you have coats like this which is a wool coat per se it's 32 percent wool 64 percent polyester but this is definitely not as heavy as the first one and you can tell that there's not too much like filler junk in here so this will definitely be warmer than the first one and then we have something like this which is 70 percent wool so i find that in my experience the higher the wool content in a coat the lighter it'll feel because there simply isn't room for too much like filler junk in there so i'm definitely not saying you know like one is better than the other there's so much variety in terms of what your fall and your winter looks like so even though this coat has so little wool in it but it's still more than enough for like a florida winter you guys know what i mean and it still looks really really trendy and will keep you warm in mild winters okay so that was a lot right i hope i didn't overwhelm you guys with information i tried to keep it as short as i could but in case you guys need any clarification on any of these points feel free to leave me a comment down below and i can always address your concerns by replying to your comment or having a separate video about it i hope this was helpful to you if you find it useful please hit that like button consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and also sharing this video with your friends and family would help me a lot and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> the same ooh watch this clip be used by companies to promote their own products. <laughs> I get demonetized for this. Doesn't that look like my actual skin?